Hello, how are you doing? I am doing fine. Awesome, we got that sorted. Now let's get down to business. So today I'm gonna show you something which is gonna give your playing so much more feeling and expression. So after watching this video, you're gonna be attempting to play something like this. So you don't want to be playing like everybody else and bend upwards. Instead, you want to bend downwards. Now the only way to do that with your fingers is to pre-bend. If you already know how to bend the string, here is how to pre-bend. First, let's do it the usual way. Pick the, pick the string and then bend the note up to the desired pitch. There you've taught your fingers the amount of pressure needed to reach the pitch. So once again, you can do two bends in a row if you like to. Now let's try and do the same thing, but without first picking. So just bend the string, and when you think you got it right, pick the note, and release, okay? Now once you've practiced that, you're eventually gonna be able to feel where the pitch is without first doing the normal bending. Now, until you get it right, it's not a big problem to first do the normal bending because that sounds pretty good as well. And the good thing is, even if you don't exactly nail the pitch when pre-bending, no one is really gonna hear because you're pretty quickly releasing it. So unless you're way out, it's gonna pass unnoticed for most people. Okay, so let's see how we can practice this over a backing track. So first the normal bend. Now let's try pre-bending. Okay, let's try it up here. Normal bend. Again, normal bend. And then pre-bend. Okay, a couple of pre-bends now. Let's end with a normal bend. Okay, now it's your turn to practice this over the backing track. Now I'll be printing out the notes I used for uh, practicing this, and they're all taken from the E Phrygian dominant scale. Now remember that a whole step bend, that means bending up to the pitch that's found two frets above. So if I'm on the 15th fret B string, I want to bending up, bend up to this note, to that note. Okay, so let's try that. And if, if we're speaking about a half note bend, then that means we're bending up to the pitch that's found just one fret above. So if I'm on the 16th fret E string, I want to bend up to the 17th fret there. Your turn to practice, first bending and then pre-bending. Let's go.
Okay, so how did that work out for you? I remember when I started practicing this stuff, I thought it was insanely hard uh, because there was just no easy way to determine if I was on, on, on the right pitch. Uh, and, and the big change happened when I realized that you don't really have to play in perfect pitch all the time. And actually, you'll see that a lot of super skilled you know, guitarists and singers, they do miss the pitch. And what matters is how you get out of the situation. And pre-bending is a really cool technique for that because you can easily get out of the situation in a good way because all you have to do is release the, the, uh, the note and the, release the string and you'll be landing on a great pitch provided your guitar is in tune and intonated. Okay, so I wanna see you practice this over and over and over again. And remember, this stuff is easy for no one in the beginning. If someone tells you they knew how to do this from scratch, then they're lying, for sure. So considering this, I want you to ask me some questions in the feedback so I can help you learn this faster. And if you got no questions, then just post a, a positive comment and that's gonna warm my heart. Where's my heart? Somewhere there. <laughs> okay, so see you, bye.